some things away. Oh, come on, it's the last story. Make some noise. I have the power to make women I'm interested in to become interested in other women. <laughs> and I do this... Reaching to the choir! <laughs> I do this by meeting them. I don't even have to do anything more than that. It's, it's this magical confluence. I meet them at point A, and I'm like, Hi, I'm Don Dealey. And they're like, Hi, I think I might like girls now. <laughs> I found out the first time it happened was on my 21st birthday. And I'm a New Year's baby, which kind of sucks for parties and all that. Capricorn. Capricorn, that's right. But I was, I was just having a bad time. My family wasn't talking to me because they forgot it was my birthday, because that's what they do. Yeah. My friends were all out of town and on vacations, and so I, I didn't hear from any of them. So I was kind of sitting alone in an ice-covered Iowa City, thinking, okay, I'm done with this self-pity stuff. Called up this girl I'd been interested in. Went, hung out with her a bit, took her out to dinner, and while we're eating dinner, we're chatting, and she suddenly goes, and, and I'm in love with a girl from New York! I'm like, wow, this is the best birthday ever. <laughs> but you know, good for her, because she's a friend, so okay, great, good for you. And I think it's just a fluke, but a few months later, summer's coming along, I'm about to go spend the summer in Ireland. And I'm hanging out with this girl I've been interested in, but she's a year ahead of me, she's about to graduate and leave, I'm about to go to Ireland, so I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to say anything, I'm just going to leave it, leave it lay. But as we're hanging out just before I leave, she says, uh, you're, you're kind of interested in me, aren't you? I'm like, yeah, but, you know, you're leaving, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm dating Allison, who was the teacher of the class we had together. <laughs> and I had, when she told me that, a series of realizations, like, Oh, you're seeing someone. Oh, you're seeing someone we know. Oh, you're seeing a woman. And so I asked, what I, in re retrospect, is probably the only safe question to ask. Wait, if you're dating Allison, how do we get a B on that group project we did? <laughs> I, was, I was starting to feel upset about this. I was starting to think, like, oh, is this something about me? Is there something wrong with me? And I was really looking forward to this trip to Ireland. I was going to get away from all this. I was going to get away from the girl stuff. Because also, I was getting a lot of flack from the people I knew in Iowa City. Because I would walk around in a denim jacket, and occasionally wear a bandana on my head. And apparently, according to people in Iowa City, these are cues for homosexuality. <laughs> Anywhere else, it's like, ah, uh, you're a low-rent biker. <laughs> Although, low-rent biker is probably a cue for homosexuality as well. <laughs> I was, I was wondering, like, is there something wrong with me? Because I'm not a guy in the sense that, you know, all this, it's like, oh, that's just what guys do, guys are like, I'm not. I'm not into any of the stereotypical stuff. I mean, there's actual food in my fridge, as opposed to just beer and condiments. It's, so I was like, okay, there must be something wrong with me. And then I went to Ireland, and I'm like, no, everything is perfectly right. Because <laughs> everyone looked like me, and because I'm Irish by extraction, I was like, okay, this is great, this is fun. And there was a girl over there. I was like, okay, neat. I'll lean up a girl from Jersey. So I end up going from Iowa City to Ireland to meet a girl from across the river here. But I start talking to her, and she's really nice, having a good time. And it turns out she's having a sexual identity crisis. <laughs> and when she tells me, I say, well, let's sit down and talk about this. Because I've been doing this before. I can help you out. <laughs> and afterwards, I called my friends who are still back in Iowa City. And they're like, you're a machine! You're a force of nature! Stay away from our girlfriends! <laughs> I suck. I, I need some sympathy here. <laughs> but I went back home. It all worked out. But it is nice to have this power. So I would just uh, offer up to any of you, any ladies who are feeling tired of you gentlemen, or need, or need some help switching your friends, I make an excellent wingman. Just give me a call.